The Napkin, the birthplace of many creative ideas. Computer-aided design is the ultimate napkin. The Solarola Napkin series will discuss the engineering behind projects in various levels of completion. From concept sketches to current builds, projects already delivered to clients, and even off-grid projects on the Solarola property. Welcome to the Napkin series. All right, this is a concept drawing for a 2000 watt array going on a Tesla Cybertruck. So getting a lot of interest um, for this array on a Cybertruck and who am I to deny people what they're looking for? So we went to work, me and my friend Tony Conkey, and got on CAD and got the um, first rendering out. Um, as you can see, it fits down nice and tightly. It'll have some rubber seals underneath it. There are four actuators that are bringing it up. So there'll be four actuators, one in each corner of the bed, kind of out of the way a little bit. So you can get some other things in there. Also some pretty serious control and strength there to keep um, everything um, strong in winds and whatever kind of weather you might see. So we will be doing um, two axis tracking. Not sure if we're going to do manual or Automated, it'll probably be a combination of the two, and we're looking to get about 50 miles of range per day, per sunny day, for the Cybertruck. All right, so you can see the four actuators there. Um, we may use column lifts. So check out Redfoo's VW bus build. We used column lifts there. The column lifts are nice because there's three segments there, so they'll go a little higher um, versus kind of where they are in there in their seated position. So a little bit more uh, versatility there with the column lifts, they're rectangular steel, they're really strong. Um, really enjoyed working with them on red foos. So um, that's our plan for the actuators. All right, here come the panels out. So this is our kind of signature um, situation where we're coming out the sides with the solar panels to give you a little bit more than just that single footprint of solar which makes it a little bit more viable a lot more viable as far as getting some serious range um, we will be doing a mechanism of drawer slide we will likely automate it and there'll be as i said kind of a combination of uh, manual and automation of course keeping it safe and and making sure that you don't drive away with it on and all that good stuff Okay, so as you can see, this thing is going to track all over the place. And of course, the more tracking we do, the more power we can get out of it. And as long as it's there, let's track it. Let's get every, every electron move in there that we can. Um, however, in the final design, who knows how that's going to end up because sometimes certain sacrifices are worth making. All right, and that is kind of... What we're looking at here, um, of course, the array, like with all of our vehicles, becomes a nice shady place to hang out, to camp. We will be pushing hard to make sure it's waterproof, sheds the water, all of that good stuff. All of those little details are important to make it something really useful. So there may be some questions that you have, um, and some of those questions are hopefully going to spawn some arguments and some discussions and some debates about how to actually do this. So we depend upon feedback to, uh, since we are building this for um, custom for people, depending on feedback of what people would like to see. So weight and range, all those things are up in the air. Like I said, we're shooting for 50 miles. There is the possibility of, you know, working with Tesla and getting a um, efficient MPPT controller that goes right into the vehicle and can um, integrate with the vehicle software and make sure that it has drive away protection and all kinds of different uh, options for greater efficiency. If we do not do that, we will have to do a system where there's a battery, the solar panels charge the battery, a small inverter, and then out the inverter into the vehicle just with a normal uh, charger. So that's what we've done on some vehicles. We just finished red foos, which could go straight in because of the situation we had control over the vehicle. However, a lot of the manufacturers, well, I don't think any of the manufacturers right now have a solar input, an MPPT input. So um, we'll be pushing on that, but in the meantime, um, doing what we have to do to get the power in. However, we do lose a little efficiency, of course, going through all those different components. 
up upwards 30 percent upwards 25 30 percent so that would bring your you know your 50 miles of range somewhere in the high 30s 40s right in there Thank you.